TJ here, and I am back with a brand new Let's Play series. Now, as you saw from the title screen, and as you can see right now, that Let's Play series is going to be none other than Pokemon. Now, as a kid, I was able to be a part of the Pokemon um, fandom and everything. I was able to watch the very first couple seasons of it before I kind of grew out of it, um, but I still am a big fan of it today, um, still have all of my Pokemon cards, still have some Pokemon games and everything, and still sometimes enjoy going back and playing them for, with nostalgic um, purposes. So the very first game that I played, Pokemon game, was Pokemon Ruby. And so for this Let's Play series, we're going to play none other than its brother, Pokemon Sapphire. Now, from what I've read, um, I believe the stories are exactly the same. Um, only thing different is a couple, like, Pokemon and everything, and the bad guys are the opposite of the other one. But other than that, I think everything is pretty much the same. Um, I'm doing this, this will be a weekend show, so on Saturdays and Sundays only. Um, so for those of you who do not enjoy the NBA Let's Play series, um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this Pokemon one. Hopefully I can give you guys a good time with it. So let's go ahead and get started with our Pokemon adventure. And here we are. World of Pokemon, and here is Professor Birch in this one. Everyone calls him the Pokemon Professor, however, I believe that the true Pokemon Professor is Professor Oak. None of the other ones really hold a candle to him. Pikachu's known as Pokemon. As friendly playmates and cooperative workmates. Yes. Until they decide to go after you and try to kill you. So we do not know everything about Pokemon. Many secrets that surround them. Yes, they are very mysterious little creatures. All I do is kind of walk around and eat, sleep, and do everything that humans do, except, you know. Alright, so you are. Hey boy, what is your name? Alright, so our name. Oh, right. For those of you who are interested, I'm actually using an emulator for this. Um, I don't know if there is any way to hook up a Game Boy to a computer to record it. Um, and if there is, I just don't have the wires or anything to do that. Um, so I just found it would be easier to use an emulator for this. I'm using the Visual Boy Advanced Emulator. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So, I'm hoping that this will work out okay. It should. It's pretty much the exact same game, just on the computer. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. You could see that as being a movie. Of course, I know Pokemon's already been made into a movie, but, you know, like it sounds so grand and awesome that it could be like a real live-action movie. Alright, so here we go. Let's, let's do this. We're here. We must have been tiring riding in with our things in the moving truck. What the hell? What, why was I in the moving truck? What, what, why didn't I get to come with you? What? I just realized this. I mean, playing it when I was a kid, I never really thought about this. But thinking about right now, why was I stuck in the moving truck? Why didn't I come with my mom? Or dad? Hell, heck, why didn't I sit in the front of the moving truck? Why was I in the back with all the boxes? What, what, was I just a piece of luggage? What, what, what was this? 
I don't care about our new home. It has a queen feel and an easy place to live, don't you think? Yeah, anything's probably easier than riding in the back of a moving truck. Oh, oh, look at that. I, I get my own room. Well, yeah, that, yeah that, that really makes up for, like, sitting in the back of the moving truck for five hours. You know, that was a pretty long drive. I probably got a concussion when the boxes started flying all over the place back there. Gee, thanks, thanks, Mom. Uh, I just realized that, that that's that's horrible. I was in the moving truck. Well, well, they took their car or whatever. Wow. My room is upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. To mark our move here. Well, at least the clock got to make it in the car with you guys and not the back of the truck with me. Uh, hey, it's Pokemon. Guy -oo. So let's see, what, what do we got here? We got a bed, a computer, item storage. Do we have anything? Ah! Oh, look at that, we have a potion. Well, I'll take that. What about mail? Do we have a mail? No mail. Okay. We have a map. We have the Hoenn region as our main place here. So it seems that the map is pretty much the exact same as Ruby from what I remember. Um, again, I, th I think pretty much everything is the same. It's just, you know, the bad guys and some Pokemon may be different. The Nintendo GameCube. Wow. See, see that? That's how you can f know how old this game is, man. It still has a Nintendo GameCube with a Game Boy Advance as the controller. That's that is awesome. <laughs> you know, I, I think the original one had like the N64. Or, or Super Nintendo as it, its its game system. So at least we got an advancement in this gen. Um, I've never played the DS games, so I don't really know. Um, do the DS games have like the Nintendo Wii hooked up to them, or the Wii U now hooked up to them? That'd be interesting. I'd, I'd really be interested to know if it if it has those set up to them. So we have to set the clock now. Oh, okay. What time is it? All right. It's the current time right now. So you guys now know that I'm recording this at about 1:35. Yes, in the afternoon. And for those of you who are curious or wanting to know, you know. Yeah, my room, my room's great. Yeah. You should make sure that everything is all there in your desk. Yeah, I already checked out the desk. I have a bed too. I want to go to sleep. My head hurts. I had boxes flying into me in the moving truck before. I want to go to sleep. What do you want? Ooh, Pedalberg Gym. Oh, okay. See, I, I, for, I forgot. In, in this thing, my dad is a gym leader. Okay. That, that, that's, that's cool. See, I think in the original one, I didn't think I had a dad, if I remember right. But in this one, they added that in. He's a gym leader. So, go introduce myself to Professor Birch. Okay. Jerry's house. Professor Birch's house. Yay. We're also the only two people that live in this little town. <laughs> Seriously, there's only two houses. I think the other two people out there kind of just live in the alleyways or something. Wow, 
That was a long string of dashes for my name. Considering my name is only two letters, it's a little bit of an overkill, don't you think? Our daughter is upstairs. I... You think? I think? I, I, I think she's upstairs. I, I, I really don't know. You know, I really don't keep track of who comes and goes into my house. It's, as you can see, you got in pretty easily, so I mean... I'm sure anyone else can as well, so... And there's the long string of dashes again, for my name, which is only two letters. I get two lines of long dashes for just two letters. It's awesome. In, in the in the TV show, may have like an annoying little kid brother or something. Wasn't that little kid like her brother? I thought, or was he just an annoying like riffraff that they caught? I, I always I always wondered why he wasn't in the game, but then I realized you know no one probably really liked him in the TV show, so they were like, yeah, we better not include him in this game. Okay. Bye, May. Go go see your dad. I'll I guess I'll just hang out in your room. Don't don't worry. You just met me, but I guess you can trust me not to steal any of your stuff. <laughs> All right. What's this say? Little Root Town, a town that can't be shaded any hue. What? What does that mean? A town that can't be shaded any hue? How can a town be shaded a hue? I... I'm... I don't... Do you get what that means? No, I, I wasn't asking you about PC or science. I was asking about the sign here. I don't get the sign. Help me with the sign. Uh, what do you guys say? out in the wild to do more research. When does he spend time at home? I would assume at night when he goes to sleep. That's when most people spend time at home. That's what I've heard about. Okay. Hello. Professor's away on fieldwork. Ergo, he isn't here. Yeah, that's... Kind of can see that he's not here. It's to study things in its natural environment, like fields and mountains, instead of a laboratory. Rather go outside and experience things than read about them. He's all about nature. That that's good. Get some fresh air, you know. Get the blood pumping when you're walking and stuff. That's that's great. Hear someone shouting down the road here. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. Well, call call Officer Jenny then. Call Officer Jenny. Or I guess me. I guess I can do it too. It's a Pokeball. Okay. What do you want me to do about that? Alright, so I guess right now is when we get to pick our Pokemon for the series. One of the three. Um, now in the original series, I'm kind of one of those people who go with Charmander, because Charmander's like a boss and everything, and just destroys everything, and he's like awesome, and becomes like Char Charizard and everything eventually, so um, I am one of those guys. However, in this one... Um, Torchic was always kind of too cute and cuddly and really didn't seem that, like, powerful to me. Um, Mudkip was always okay, but he wasn't really what I was looking for. I always went with Trico. Trico was awesome. 
he's probably the only grass starter Pokemon that is like kick ass, okay? Even in the show, when Ash caught him and everything, he was great. He always had that badass look about him and just kind of like the, yeah, what do you want me to do? You want me to go beat him up? I'll go beat him up for you. Don't worry about it. Just, just sit back, I'll take care of this. You know? I could totally see Trico like being like some Italian guy and everything, just being like, yo, you want me to do this for you? I can do this for you. So, I'm going with Trico as my starting Pokemon. And with that, we will have our very first battle. Trico versus Puccina. Puccina's only level 2, Trico's level 5, so... This should be... A quick battle here. Pound. Two shots. And it's dead. And Trico gains some experience from that. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. <laughs> what? Wait, so so you're the Pokemon professor who goes out into the tall grass? When you know Pokemon live in tall grass, and you're all of a sudden surprised when the Pokemon come out and jump you? You're invading their natural habitat! What did you think was gonna happen? Did you think they're just gonna be okay with it? Did you think they were scared of you? No, they got like special powers and stuff. They aren't scared of you. Are, are you sure you're a Pokemon professor? Cause, Cause you don't seem very like, right in my opinion if you're wandering out in the tall grass without any sort of protection. Yeah, yeah, I had to save you, I guess. It's not the place to chat, so come to my Pokemon lab later. Okay? Nah, I'd, I'd rather go out into the tall grass over there and talk, you know? Nothing bad can happen from that, right? I mean, it's not like the Pokemon live there when you're gonna get Jumped. <sighs> and now all of a sudden we seem to have teleported to his lab. Pulled it off with a plum. Guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Yeah, it's, it's kind of how, you know, inheritance works. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Yay, Trico! Why not give a nickname to Trico? No! Um, that's something with this series, um, guys, that with Pokemon, I usually don't give them nicknames. I'll be completely honest, I'm really not that creative when it comes to nicknaming Pokemon and everything. So, I just don't do it and just keep them as their normal names. It's just something I do, so that's just a heads up for you guys. My kid May is out on Route 103 studying Pokemon. Go see her. What do you think? Do I have a choice? <laughs> Can I say no? What will happen if I say no? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be nice and go ahead and say yeah. Now we go back out and find May. <laughs> All right, just I'm assuming we go this way. Hello. Wild Pokemon will jump out at you in tall grass. Where were you when the professor needed him? You know, if you were to be standing here when he calls wandering in, you know, you might have been able to save him from, you know doing something stupid. Oh! And a worm pull has attacked me now. Awesome! Go, Trico! Pound! Worm pull is tackle. Pound! Yay, 
예, 트위커. 헬로. 포켓몬 게타르, 테이크 투 포켓몬 센터. 예스. 아이 노우 댓. 아이트, 위 아르 나우 인 올데일 타운. 헬로. 오케이. Get you to come with me. Well, I guess I have no choice. Just, just look for a blue roof. Including Pokeballs. Yay! I'd like to have this promotional item. Potioned! Alright, now I have two potions. Thank you. Old Dale Town. Where things start off. Sacred? No, that's scarce. Your things st start off scarce. I'm very good with words. <laughs> I. Oh, that was that was that was embarrassing. <laughs> Sacred. Uh, I want to take a rest, so I'm saving my progress. All right. Some random person is saving out on the road there. It's, it's not weird for a normal situation. In case you guys haven't noticed right now, um, I'm kind of the person that, that goes around and like explores every house, talks to every person, goes pretty much in every area, making sure I don't miss anything. So, um, this, it may get like, piss you off or whatever, but, um, that's just how I play the game, so I kind of explore everything, make sure I don't miss anything. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Alright. I don't want to go down there anyway. Pokemon Battle Star. Left starts first. Yeah, yeah, I know. Could give you an advantage. Yay! Advantage! I guess we go this way. Hello. My Pokemon is staggeringly tired. I should have brought a potion. Haha, <laughs> I've got two. Sucks for you. <laughs> Route 103. Where's... Oh, there she is. Okay, there's me. Uh-oh. Another Pokemon attack. It's a Zigzagoon. Level 2 Zigzagoon. Eh, I don't want to fight him. Let's go away. <laughs> yes, I have run for my very second Pokemon attack. <laughs> yes, I got a Pokemon. Haha. <laughs> Let's have a battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Alright. Here's our first official trainer battle with Pokemon now. She, of course, has Torchic. Because as such, the rival or friend or whatever they are always takes what your Pokemon is weak against. So, you know, Trico's weak to Torchic. If I would have taken Torchic, she would have Mudkip. If I had Mudkip, she'd have Trico. Kind of how it works. Gives you a harder challenge, I think. Uh, Trico's used one of those special moves. But the thing is, uh, I should probably bring that up too. Um, when I... Oh, it just kicked my butt there. <laughs> um, when I play, I don't usually keep any of the special moves. I usually just go and just take the attacks that, you know, cause damage. No! Ah! We lost! What? What? No! What, what, what happens now? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Well, that's... that's horrible. <laughs> 
Yay, we already suck. <laughs> it's it's great. It's great to see. I already suck. <laughs> That was that was not how I wanted it to start out. All right, let, let, let's just go ahead and like beat these Pokemon up here while I can. That that sucked. <laughs> um, as I was saying though, before I completely got my ass handed to me, um, when I play, I usually don't focus on attacks that you know don't attack. So like things like Leer, I usually don't try to keep those ones. Um, I usually just go for attacks that, you know, are quick and hard hitting, you know. I don't care about if I can lower your attack or defense or specialty moves or anything. I just want to hit you hard and fast. Hey, Trico learned Absorb. So, um, that's, that's how I play the game. But, you know, it's just my personal preference. Alright, there we go. Round two. Let's do this. Alright, I'm ready. Okay, ignore what you saw last time. That, that didn't happen. That never happened. Yes, he gave me a Pokemon. Let's have a battle. Alright. Uh, okay. We got this this time. We got this. <laughs> we will not look like a horrible noob this time. Alright. Pound! <laughs> Boom! Alright, good job. Okay. You got this, Trico. You got this. I believe in you. I believe in you. I still believe in you. Pound! Uh-oh. Uh, just had to have, would have had to quit at that point then. Hey, Trico grew up to level 7 now. I am pretty good, I know. It only took me two times. <laughs> oh man, that, that's embarrassing. For someone that loves Pokemon and says they're so good at this game. That was horrible. Let's head back to the lab. Okay. Uh, I, I really don't know what that was. <laughs> Hello. All right. Let's let's hurry home. Jumping over the tall hills, mound things, whatever they are. Running to the side of buildings. And it wasn't quite the first try. Um, <laughs> it's kind of more like the second, but we'll go with first. We'll go with it. You should have it. It's a Pokedex. Yay! Automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. Me goes everywhere with it. Get a Pokedex too, just like me. Hey, a Pokeball! Yay! It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place, because I want different Pokemon. I will too! I'm going to try to get almost all of the Pokemon that I can in the Pokedex. Um, I'll try my best. I don't I don't know if the starters you can find out in the wild, though, so... I may not be able to get those, but the rest of them I will try and get. Alright, so I guess that's that. Let's go! Let's go! Go. What's up, Mum? Yes, I introduced myself. 
an adorable Pokemon. Trico is not adorable. Torchic is adorable. Mudkip maybe is adorable. But Trico is not adorable. He is a badass. It's a badass Pokemon, Mom. Ugh. You're your father's child. Why, is his Pokemon adorable too? Going on an adventure. Where are the running shoes? Yay! Now I can actually, like, go fast and not, you know, be bumbling around. All the time. And there's my name again. Look at that. They even say my name on them. Look at that. Please be careful. Don't worry. Now that I have a Pokemon, I can go out into tall grass and not get jumped. Go get them. I don't know who I'm going to get, but okay. Um, so yeah, I think that is where I will call this first episode. Um, just before we go out on our adventure, go catch a bunch of Pokemon and see what we can do. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, as well as any comments down below, um, whether you liked my commenting, um, whether you liked um, the overall series, if you liked this idea. Um, also, if you have any like Pokemon you really, really want me to try and catch, I can go out and try and get those first off. Um, as well as any nicknames. If you have any nicknames for Pokemon, um, go ahead and post them down below and I'll consider, you know, nicknaming a Pokemon or something like that. Um, other than that, guys, um, thanks for tuning in. And I'm KJ. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.